Hey everyone, this is Screws and Bones here. Welcome back to a new video. Now it's been a while since I've actually made one, I know, but um, I thought I would upload one today. Um, kind of just a little bit motivation thing, just not being bothered. I've been trying to practice playing Nurse uh, more than anything. And today I was actually playing pretty well. Um, I wasn't playing perfectly in this video though. A few errors here and there, but um, we ended up in a good map. This is Midwich, and I was trying my best to go for... Um, as close to 12 hooks as possible. I was really trying to share my hooks out on this one and let's see how it goes Always a great map though. When, whenever I see Midwitch and I'm, I'm always gonna like, you know, fist pumping quietly Blink over here. I blink into the room. I believe uh, often people spawn in these rooms and kind of just hide around So um, I know that from you know just playing it and there's the bill a short blink here We get a hit on him Then I believe he doubles back and we get a second blink. Um, yeah, I've been playing quite a few decent teams by the way today. I'm making this video on the same day I played this um, actual match. And the Quentin's right there, but I decided, you know what, I've already held my blink. I may as well go to the Discordance uh, gen. And they actually pre-left. I don't know if they have Spine Chill. Or oh, actually, did I get a hit there? I'm not entirely sure. But uh, I decided, you know what, Quentin's there. I can't shorten my blink by looking down because I'll just go to the floor below. Um, so I'm just going to go to where the discordance gen has procced. So yeah. Anyway, we're going to chase this uh, Quentin now. I'm trying not to go for the bill. More for the Quentin. And we get the hit there. Nice. Pretty nice. It's a nice map, as I said. You know, it's hard um, for us to not assert a decent amount of pressure. And discordance, I, I believe, has been working pretty well for me um, lately. He does a dead hard there, and he gets out out the way there. Otherwise, we would have got a hit if, if not for the dead hard distance. So we're going for a splink there, hoping that he would. Yeah, I mean, I really thought he'd end up where you know, like when you imagine someone running, I blinked to where I imagine his distance would, would would have brought him right, and he ended up we ended up missing him somehow. We had a nice little blink there though, which is pretty cool. Sometimes you um, predict their movements, you know, if they keep on running and they turn the corner, you think, well, they're going to end up here. And then you swing when you get there and they are like a meter or two in front of it or something. And yeah. So here, I'm, sh I'm sure people are having spine chill. Um, you know, prox, I would say. Because people are pre leaving. You know, I was already pretty close to that gen with the hook and I just kind of blinked from the hook to that and. He'd already pre-left, I guess because I turned around and faced him, and he knew. Might have to check at the end of this video if he did have spine chill. I don't remember checking it. Um, yeah, there's people in the courtyard, we know that. But this gen's on its way here. Definitely going to pop it. Actually, we didn't even have Poplar's Weasel there, did we not? I think at the time I thought we did. Pretty sure we th I thought we did at the time. Never mind. Anyway, so we've got a bill. In here, see if we can. Hey, we got auto aimed. See how the camera turned to the right? That wasn't me turning the camera, that was auto aim. It happens quite a bit sometimes. Uh, I find it with Nurse, especially. I mean, I mostly play Nurse, obviously, I'm gonna see it happening with Nurse a lot, but yeah, I was hoping he'd double back there, which is why I did a short first blink. I actually think, you know, looking back on this video, people were actually playing better than I thought. Now that was a 50-50, he either comes towards me down the corridor or he goes into this room. I predicted one way and he went the other. And it is kind of what it is, you know. It's not me blinking badly or going for a bad swing. I mean, I, I guess I could have maybe not swung if I had looked first. But yeah. Bit of an over blink there. Gonna get a hit on this Yui, I believe. Do we? No, we miss her. It looked like we were going to get one from, from the way the blink looked, but uh, she doubles back there to go out to the doorway and we get that hit. And, uh, yeah. And I go for the swing there. I saw a I think because I saw a double back the first time, I was like, well, maybe she'll do it again. So it's, yeah. And then she doubles back. So I blink to the top of the ramp there. And then she comes back up the steps. She's definitely trying to duke me a lot. And um, sometimes it'll work, sometimes it won't. Again, sometimes there's 50-50s in maps like this. You have to kind of figure out some of these um, people. The best way for them to play is to be unpredictable. To sometimes double back, sometimes just hold the W. You know, it's it's, um, it's one or the other. So we see this um, gen turn yellow because of discordance. And I'm going to pop it with Poppins the Weasel. But we do get hit on the Claudette. She was hiding there. But we knew that she was there because we knew there were two people there. And one person ran away. 
and there was obviously one person still unaccounted for, so I guess you had to be behind the gen, you know, that's, that's that kind of thing. Uh, so yeah, as I said, to counter nurse a lot, um, it's good to mix up double backing, or doubling back, I should say. Yeah, we heard the crying of the Claudette. Let me get her down here. She gave me a couple of decent chases actually later on in this game. And as I said, I'm going f as much as possible for as close to 12 hook, you know. I, this is kind of an easier map for Nurse. I'm trying to face away there because I'm, I I'm thinking people have Spine Chill. And uh, when Discordance goes off, I'm trying to face away a little bit now here and there just so that they don't just run away straight away. You know, you, I I'm kind of thinking, yeah, it looks like they have Spine Chill. But again, we'll have to check at the end. So now I'm going for the Quentin. It's been a while since I've um, gone for him and I tapped him, so again, yeah, well the build's kind of just running in my face here, so I guess we'll go for him too. And he's full health, so I don't think he's on death hook. Again, just still going to try and spread the hooks. I went for the, uh, <laughs> the kind of prediction that he might double back there, but then he didn't, you know, so granted to the bill, he, he wasn't always doubling back. And that's kind of the thing with this match. Here, I thought he might revolt, so I, d I decided to blink to the actual window. If he revolts, then we get him there. Again, another prediction that didn't go right. A lot of my predictions didn't go right here. We blink up, and then we get... I think we got a hit there. By the way, my sounds are turned off when I'm making these video um, voiceovers, because if I have them on, I get, um, I get kind of an echo on my voice, which is pretty bad. Yeah, so then again, I, I predicted that the bill might double back. I think he was just holding W more than he was doubling back. And, you know, when I look back at this video, but at the time, I thought he might be kind of mixing it up. I think he wasn't mixing it up as much as I thought. <laughs> but then, as again, he was holding W all the way around the corridor, all, all the way around the map there. We blink into the courtyard, we hear his footsteps a little bit, and then we just do a short blink into the corridor and he's right there again holding W. So I think we finally adapted to this bill. Yeah, sometimes I expect people will double back more because it's just a common thing that people do versus nurse. This person's gone upstairs and I think I go for a second blink there quickly. I mean there's nothing up there, it's a dead end, but she ends up sprint bursting away. So she must have held the sprint burst. Because she she was speedy as F, right? Yeah, I turned then I went for the Quentin because we just Hook to the bill, so yeah. Uh, this room, by the way, terrible. Terrible hitboxes for nurse, so you can see how that one worked out for me. But we have a bit of a chase here with the Quentin. Uh, I expect he's going to vault here, back through. So we go to where the vault is, and then yep, hit him. The best play for him is to go to the vault, but not actually vault. I mean, we're going to get him down there in that position because it's kind of a... He's kind of cornered in that in that area, but he can pretend to vault and not vault and then play around. It just buys time for the team more than anything. So even if, like, you know, he's going to lose a chase and it's kind of inevitable, it's often decent enough to do it just to buy time, right? But uh, we get hit on the UE. My second blink was never going to make it. Obviously, we're not swinging at stuff like that, so... Um, yeah, so she's gone up the steps. We're predicting where she would end up. And then we blink there. Took our time with those two blinks, by the way. Took time between the first and second blink to see which direction she moved. I knew I wouldn't have to blink far in the second blink, so... What happens if you leave a gap between your first and second blink before you actually hold down the right click? Is that you won't be able to go as, as far. It, your distance is going to be much more limited with your second blink if you leave a gap. Um, which is kind of the reason a lot of the time that um, we kind of by nature hold down the right click you know, quicker than we you know, want to. Because you lose distance, you know. But we get a hit on this Claudette around this little loop here. There's not much there for her. We just have to predict where she's going to go and you know. I guess we didn't second blink that, but then she kind of um, circled back towards us, so that gave us kind of a free hit in the end. Yeah, I think people often think that you're going to do something as nurse. I think people often think that you're going to blink, even when you're fatiguing. 
I think it happens to people who don't play Nairs very much. Um, you'll blink your first blink. They know you got a second blink, but you're not holding your second blink. But some people don't realize that, and they will still um, think that you're going to uh, blink, and they double back into you. What ends up happening is that you fatigue, and they're really close to you, and then you can just get a swing on them. Anyway, regardless, that was a pretty nice blink to get that um, hit on the bill. Here we predict that he's going to double back. I don't know. If, is this the same bill? Yeah, there's only one bill. See, this is what I mean. Before he was holding W, and there, even though I did say I adapted to him, I actually just thought, you know what, I think he's going to fake it. So I blinked to where he went into the steps, and then he actually did double back. So, obviously this bill is mixing it up, you know, and we kind of got fortunate enough there that, um, you know, he, he did double back that time. Quentin's kind of cornered here, it's hard for him to do much, we're just going to swing on him. He's obviously going to vault and go out, just to get distance, nothing else he can really do. And yeah, I guess he's gone into a room. I thought he went down the corridor for some reason. I can see he's vaulted the window that's in that room. I'm just going to blink as far as possible down here. I can hear that he's in this room still. So it's pretty much a matter of time before we grab, uh, grab a hit on this guy. Yeah, he throws a pallet. It's tough, you know, when you play nurse on little leaps like that, it's tough. I mean, like, people throw pallets a lot. I think it's more of the kind of, just a general reaction, you know. It's like, what else are they going to do? People just naturally throw a pallet because it's what you do versus most colours, you know. But versus Nurse, it doesn't really work too well. I guess we're kicking this because of, you know, Pop Goes the Weasel and all that business. As you can see, we've still um, got two people left in this match. Um, you know, we've got ten hooks. They've both got one hook left each. I tried my best to go for as close, as I said, to um, 12 hooks. I don't know whether we actually achieved getting three hooks in each person, but um, yeah, you know, that's kind of what I was going for. Just because it's this map. On other maps that are tougher, I wouldn't take this strategy, but I just thought, why not here? Get a few chases, have some fun. So now we're just looking for people. We see the scratch marks. I mean, granted to these people, they weren't um, actually yeah, hiding or anything. A lot of the time in Midwitch, when you get two people left, they often, they, they often hide. Uh, I thought she'd double back down the corridor. Not double back, but just kind of turn and go down the corridor. I went for a prediction swing. Which you don't always want to do, to be honest, and that didn't really work out for us there. And yeah, so she's gone down this corridor here. Oh, this is the... Oh, she's turned into a Claudette. The Yui turned into a Claudette there. Okay, so we're, expect, we're expecting that she might double back there, but she held forward. I think she's gone down... Yeah, the drop there. I, again, I shouldn't have swung at that. She either goes forward like she did, or she goes back. And I guess I was just predicting that she might have gone back. And, yeah. She gave me a bit of a chase here. Again, I over... Uh, flicks that blink. And she's going... The, you know, the wrong way. Actually, I, I intended to go upstairs there, I think. Did, or did I? I don't, I don't even know. I can't remember what I was intending. It looked like I lifted my... My, um... My mouse there. I get hit on the claw out there in the end. So that chase wasn't actually that long. But you can see there's a lot of prediction things that you've got to make. And it's not so bad in this map for, you know, indoor maps. You know, there are other maps like um, Hawkins and Larry's where you, I think you have to play a bit of a different style. But it's so difficult because you don't want to walk around too much in those maps because Nurse is obviously very slow. Now we've got one person left. It's just, you know, can we find this person? I, th I believe it's the Yui, right? Yeah, she just appears there. So now we just have to follow up and, you know, get a kill before she finds the hatch. <laughs> it's one of those. And there, there it is, you know. Yeah, so we had a lot of hooks there. Honestly, don't know how many times we hooked, but I did try to spread it out. And that is going to be it for this match. I mean, I thought these guys played pretty well. 
There was a lot of instances, you know, where um, I thought they were going to do one thing and they did another. And just because we 4 k I'm not, I'm not going to be like, oh, these guys didn't do too well. You know, it's, it's a tough map. It's a tough map. When you play Nurse, Nurse is Survivors on this map, Nurse is always going to do pretty damn well if you're playing decently. Anyway, hope you enjoyed the video. Until next time, I'll see you soon.